All right, talk me into it. I thought I'd do a video. Um, that's the inside of my case. It's a bit dusty. And I've already taken the graphics card out. It's just the, you know, probably the lowest card you can get that's run everything on low settings or whatever. <clears throat> I think they're in nine, 960 or something. What are they? Oh, GTX 16, 1650. So yeah, I'm just taking out the cables. It's getting dark though. <laughs> a bit worried I'm running out of light. I'll stick the lights on. I'll get all this out quickly and swap it over. Just taking out the um, power, power of supply. Four screws. Sorry, I can't give you all the good angles. I'm just doing this in a hurry, so my loyal fans will just miss out on all the gruesome details. But hopefully, um. <clears throat> I could have turned it around, I suppose. I know he threw up when I got in the door of my bin. I put food in the bin. Bloody stump. There we go. So I'll take that out. Still attached to things, I think. <laughs> Shit. Oh, it's gone right. And I'm going to have to take it out through the back. So. Um, Take everything off the board. And then it's off the motherboard. Jumpers. SATA connectors. Like I say, sorry you can't see, I'll just do this in a hurry, so. Uh, I might unscrew the motherboard and get that out of there. <clears throat> Probably need new screw grommet screw washers, but I think they'll be alright. It's ideal to replace things when you're changing things over, I suppose. But look, I haven't had this motherboard in here that long. I mean, a couple of years or a few years, but yeah, served me well. This the case is pretty yuck. I just don't like the case. It's grotty and disgusting. It needs a bit of a lift. Give my house a makeover. What's it called? Renovation. Yeah. I'll probably need like a little brush just to get all the dust off. I don't know if I've got one. I've got a little brush. A little um, can of compressed. Oops. A little can of compressed air would be good, but I don't have one, so. No, no brushes. Oh, USB is still stuck on. <laughs> Shit. Just sit it back down. <sighs> That's it. What have we got up here? Oh, that's alright. There we go. You're in a pocket. All that in one piece. I might just give that a little dust thing with some tissue or something. Just 
get that bit of excess dust off. A little wipe careful of the components, they're all very they look quite robust but you just never know, a little bit of electricity discharge, blower pass it over whatever. I just wipe the fins of the fan while I got it out. <laughs> That's not a very good view on the other side, is it? I'm gonna put that one. I'll put, put this over here. <clears throat> Whoops. There we go. That's better. It's getting a bit dark. I should have. I mean, I got home a bit late from school, so, you know. Fins. There we go. That's done. So got this little floppy thing from the power supply. I don't know if I'll need that, but unplug all the drives. Probably too big a job to hurry this time of night, but you know, it's what we're doing, so. around the back of the bloody thing. It's hard to get them out. Oh, I'll have to take the back off. Is that a screw? Oh, I scratched my table. <laughs> I'm doing well. <clears throat> take this side off. Come off one screw. Ugh. Come on. Yeah. Oh, it's filthy. You know what? This case, I might just throw it a little tip. I don't know. Bit old. Bit old. As you as you get old, you know. <laughs> Been a good one. Most of need the power cables out. So we get them out. <laughs> All attached. And like a big octopus, out comes the power supply. A big octopus, a big power supply. <laughs> Hopefully it's quiet, I don't know. It's not quiet. That's the reason I've got the case. But um I might have to get a different power supply if it's not quiet. I mean it sounds pedantic, but that's the reason I got the case so it's silent, you know. But 
it's probably probably not good to use your use your mouth because you get little bits of spit in there but I'm very careful you know yeah it's not too bad it'll be all right that can go there now I need all my cables. A couple more starters. Starter cables. They've got a bit brittle. I don't know. Maybe I need new ones, but mm, still feel alright. It's more the heat and everything. Now I've just got to get out the drives. That'll be a bit of a job. You can't really see what I'm doing up there, can you? Keep it up a bit. It's a little bit dark anyway. <laughs> Okay, two screws there, two this side. I think it comes out the front, so we'll pull out the front. Two more screws. I'm not sure if this new case is screwless or toolless. I didn't check that, but um, Some of the newer cases you don't need all the screws, you can just this one's been stubborn, it's not coming out. You always get one, don't you? Something to leaf it out. Anyway, take these other drives out. Is that one that come out? Hold right, cage. That's sweet. Take the drive cages out. It's holding it in. Mm -hmm. Just these little thumbtack screw things. Side oh, they come out the front. There we go. Like so. I'm disconnecting. There we go. Whole thing comes out. <laughs> That's the driver there, the little SATA drive, so I'll just go and screw that. Quite a few screws. Just gonna have to get out that other one and bugger it. Sometimes they de-thread and they just stick. Oh, that's a long one. Each side so the guard doesn't vibrate. Not that a SATA would probably vibrate, it's got no mechanics, so it's just a memory bank, isn't it? So.
Oh, there it is. Up there. Having these lights, we'll be able to see tonight, so I'm not too worried. But I'm worried to scratch my bloody, scratch my bloody desk, scratch my table. I should have put down that, that um, bit of cardboard I had. Each of these drives has got a fan attached. So be careful. Yeah, that's all I need, these two and then just the top one. I don't know if I'll bother putting all these back in, I don't know. It's so many drives, I don't really need them all. I might just stick them all in there. That's the um, storage one. Just keep it a white. Keep everything clean as I can. Go into some brand new case. And drop it. <laughs> shit. That'll be shit. I don't know if I've got enough cables. One, two, three. Oh, I've got to get my new cables to do my DVD. Um, my Blu-ray drive, I've got to get some more cables and a, um, I've got an adapter, SATA adapter. I've only got four ports and I think I've just, I think I've got five drives, so I think one, two, three, four, five, yeah. I could leave this one off because it's just a storage backup, but um, I don't know, whatever. These are the original one terabyte drives that come with the case from my old roommate who gave me the computer for it. He just gave it to me, didn't want it. So that's that one. And that's that one, yeah. So I think that's the storage and that's the backup. Uh, yeah, that's all the cables. These ones come with the case, I think. So that's that. Oh, just got to get that one. Come on, come out. Bloody thing. Jesus, rip it out. How you do it, bit of brute force. <laughs> I don't want to wreck the thread though. You can just pull it and turn it, should come out. that screws had it but we'll leave it there the DVD that should be right 
a little bit, you know, the DVDs are a bit superseded now, but I still like playing them every now and then. I don't even know if you can hide DVDs. There's a place down at Kangaroo Ground, I think, had them, but not many others. So that's that. I'll get rid of the case now, I think. I don't need anything else out of it. No. Oh, bugger it. Bloody scratch me table. I don't care that much, but oops. Bugger me phone too. <laughs> I'm having a good day. I'm bloody tired today. I don't know why. I just can't. I fell asleep in class again, you know, like just buggered. Anyway. Get this one over. I'll take both sides off, I think. What I might do. A washer on it, so I've got to be careful of that. What I might do though, I might um, get rid of all the other shit. I don't need any of these old screws, these long ones. I don't need these drives, these fans. So I'll pop all those over there. Don't need those. That. Where's that other screw? Uh, had to be somewhere. It's gone. I don't know where it's gone. Somewhere around. We'll take the glass case off. Hopefully they tore us on and own. Maybe. Wow, it's quite heavy. No. Just a sheet of glass, you know. It's <laughs> I suppose it's cheap, you know. Now, I've got little rubber grommets, we can leave those on. Let's take this out. What's this? Take this back cover off. Oh, it's insulated. That's pretty cool. A little accessories case with it. See what's in there. All sealed up. The screw went disappeared. Oh well, let's see what we've got in our accessories here. We've got a bit of thermal, thermal tape lining, sort of like a velcro. I'm not sure, what that's for a swag of screws, screws, and things. Yep. Put those aside. I'm almost tempted to stop here and do this tomorrow, but I'll soldier on because I can barely see what I'm doing. Oh, I wonder if I got a light. Oh, that's not Let's put my torch here, it might be good enough. So the standoff's already in there, so that's all right. They all look good. That one's a bit dodgy, it doesn't have a screw hole. Let's 
see how it fits. I might take those out because they're not going to be much good. I'm going to move some of these up so I'm um, not going to use maybe the pliers will do. Try and, like I'd love to move the cameras around, but I'll just try and get this done, you know. So I'll get it inside before it gets too cold. Swap some of these around. In there. Oh, it's cable. Hmm. Weird. I'll just move this one up. And I think we're right. We just need the six, really. So that's good. I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to chuck it in. I think. I don't know where I, um, I'll have to grab the plate off the other one, won't I? Yeah, cases don't come with them, do they? These back plates. Oh, my camera's run out of juice. <laughs> I don't know why the camera turned off. Oh well, I'll keep going. Is that economy mode? Why would that happen while it's actually filming? <laughs> it doesn't make sense, does it? It just switches off. Alright, so that's done. I'm just figuring out what these little these holes for the cables, but what's this? Cable in that one. Ugh, it's pretty light. Oh that's all this, yeah. Oh, that's alright. So that'll come down at the bottom here. Yeah. Oh that's alright, I'll leave all that how it is I think. Just um, just undo it. Do it all. Probably need a bit more length. Look, I'll just get all the bits in, then I'll put the cables in when I actually get inside where I can see. So I'll just get the motherboard in. I don't think there's anything else I have to do there, so. Plop that in. Oh, I need a back plate. Hang on.
Hopefully this is still all right. <laughs> So that goes in here and plops in that. And then this goes on. Uh, yeah, I'll try and fit it in. That's all right. Which ones are these ones? Maybe I'll get some new screws. What screws we got? No washers on those ones. Yeah, I might use... I'll use the old ones, I think, if they screw in. Let's have a look. Oh, shit. Something happened there. <laughs> oh, I didn't check that bit. Yeah, that's all right. It's gone in good. Yeah, it's holding. Yeah, no, they're all right, I think. Should I show you what I'm doing? <laughs> Can't really see. It's probably pretty boring, isn't it? I've always seen a computer get built. Well, it's anything that fancy or new. Probably should have put the RAM in, but I'll chuck it in now. Bloody noise around here, the cars. Just constant whirring of sound of cars and shit, you know. This looks like a beastly ram. In that one. Click. Good. That was a good click. That was a good click too. Right, so I'm wondering, I might use that, that rubber grommet again for me drive. It might cut down vibration a bit, so I'll whack that in now, power supply. Uh, I'm going to do this. 
by round. A little screw at the bottom, right? Where's the middle screw? Well, I don't go either way, I think. This way. It in. I hope it's the right size. Get in there, poof. Poof. Oh, there it is. There we go. Now, I need some screws, so I'm going to trust these over here, I think, as you do. Could use these new ones, I suppose. Tons of them. I'll look off and replace them later. So these go in. Maybe the new ones. Might not have enough for the, have enough for the drives. I don't know how they click in. I use those for the drives actually. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, that's working. Bit of a night time show here. Tight, as they say. I think that little bit of rubber looks shit, but it'll be at the back and you won't see it. I'll just maybe cut down the vibration slightly. Maybe, I don't know. I could paint it black and go to a lot of expense, but. In the end, it doesn't matter. Couple of days. Beautiful. Oh, that one's de threaded, I think. Okay. 
look, I'm going to attach all these inside. I can't see, so I might pack up and do the rest later. All right, so have a nice night, everyone, and um, whatever you do, do it safely. If not, have fun. And, um, yeah, that's all for tonight from the build. I'll show the end result with it running in a moment, like magic. Looking pretty good. Got me cables all sorted in there. There's one in the one in the back there. Got this one coming up the back there. So the cable management's pretty good. Uh, I need a I need a fan header though. I need a fan that won't fit on my system fan because it's I think male to male is it? So I need a I need an adapter for that and it's not long enough anyway. I suppose it is actually, I could probably just run over like that. But uh, yeah, I need a little adapter. I haven't got that. So all that's really left is plugging in, plugging in my, um, this goes into the graphics card. And then I've just got my SATA cables. Got my USB on there. I've, oh, I've got to put the little restart power buttons and that on. I can't remember my neck. I can never remember the um, the jumper settings, so I've got to look that up. And that's it. Yeah, just chuck the drives in. It's looking good though. I like the case. It's a bit smaller, a bit more, a bit more romantic. <laughs> I probably could have got away with a smaller heatsink, but that one might be a bit noisy. I don't know. The one Jethro had was half the size and really quiet, but. Um, well that wasn't even clipped on properly. <laughs> there it is. Got me RAM in there. So all set. A little table here. All me bits and bobs. I should um I'll whack this in. This looks good putting this in, so I uh, should do it with two hands I guess, but um I'll just Hard to see what I'm doing. Oh, come on. Hopefully, it just clicks in. Where are we? There's something in the way there. Oh, might be the back of the down there. Oh, there we go. Let's go on in. No, nope. something in the way. What's in the way? It's clicked in there, but <laughs> we don't want that. We'll do that. Ah. There's something down there in the way. I don't know what it is. Looks like something's bent, actually. I can just see. Just see down there in that shaft. I don't know if you can see in there. There's a little bent fin just at the bottom of that shaft. It's just hanging out a bit, so I might have to get a screwdriver and wiggle that back. So I'll get back to you when I'm focused. There we are. I'll get back to you when I'm done, and we'll see the end result. So here it was a little bit of bent bent metal down in that little edge second slot along it's a shame with these big cards why do they make motherboards like this with the the two slots the two um pce pcie slots there because this covers just about all three slots up this graphics cards this is a relatively small one and i want to use that one there i want to use this one it's going to be close to the fan for another um SATA port, I want to get an adapter, I've already ordered it. Oh, there we go, it's slotted in good. There we are. I'll just screw that in and then be on our way. Got the Samsung Evo. They're a bit better with the V, the V-NAND. I think 
Jeff Rose is a bit better than that one actually. He might have got the 960. Yeah, anyway. Ah, see you soon. Bit of an update on the uh, build. It looks a bit of a mess in there, but it's just the excess wires and that, the SATA cables and power cables. The other ones are pretty well routed out the way, so. Yeah, it's just a few extra ones. I've just, all I've got to do is attach the, the fan pin header. I need a um, cable, but I can just start it up for now to see how it runs. I don't have a SATA port for that one, so I'll leave that one off, but I don't really need that extra drive. It's just a spare one that has some old um, backup data on it. So I'll leave it there so it spins up and runs just so it keeps in good shape, but I won't run it into the system. I'll just leave it. I think it's okay to do that, but um, if not, well, it'll blow up and that'll be the end of it. So I've got my new Blu-ray up there. Hopefully it runs okay after I dropped it, but um, who's to know it might have damaged the alignment in it or something. Uh, they're not too expensive, so if it's really shit, I'll buy another one. Um, yeah, I think it's all done. I'll just put the covers on and, and we'll start it up. Okay, it's all there. Looks pretty good, I reckon. Looks pretty neato. It's nicer than the other one. We've got the two drives. Let's try and let's see what happens. Oh, goes the RAM. RAM's lining up, the keyboards come on. Got a monitor. Defaults. Uh, how do you do defaults? Alright, so the defaults are in. Let's check all the other stuff. All good. Uh, yeah. Trust the computer. Let's see how that's going to work. Yep, it's all on. In flash. Overclocking. I don't bother overclocking. I don't really need to. So. I could actually boost up the RAM speed, but um, I'll leave it just for now. Um, yeah, okay, so RAM say, uh, what page are we on, physical memory 65, so yeah, a little bit over 60, you should say 64, but must, when it gets up a bit, it gets a bit bigger, so 64 gig, and we'll save that and exit. Look at this. Looks a bit funny there by itself with no other lights. The fans aren't spinning, of course. Don't plug the fans in yet, so. Oh, there's the keyboard. Where is it? Just make sure the drives are loaded and then both drive I'll check just check the DVD drives both work and um, all done. Okay. Yeah, it's all up. Okay, we'll just check the Not there. I've got the wrong one. Yeah, 
I plugged the wrong one in there. I should have the other one. That's all right. I can swap them around. No worries. Where's our DVD drives? They're probably loading in. Well, maybe they only show up when there's a DVD in. I'll try one. <sighs> what do we got? I've got Crazy Rich Asians, which I got to watch with someone, a girl, but we never got around to it. That's a DVD, so I'll try that and see if it plays. We have the slot is working. And load it up. delete these videos off afterwards and take up so much room on my phone and let's see see what happens come on load will you not loading Have a DVD problem. Uh, oh, no, there it is. It's popped up. Probably just installing the DVD drivers or something. Oh, that's good. So that's there. Let's see if we can play it. I don't know. We got software. Uh, play with this one, maybe. Beautiful. Oops. Nice. Don't know why they don't fill up the whole screen, you know, it's a bit silly, but it's good it's a big screen, but I think the Blu-ray ones do. I've got a Blu-ray one somewhere. I hope I do. Oh, maybe I didn't bring it with me. I could put a DVD in there because you can play DVDs and Blu-ray. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. Oh, there we go. All the audio works. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, it's not registered. Hmm. I wonder why that said that. Uh, I'll just look for a DVD. Uh, Blu-ray, I mean. I've got one somewhere that I borrowed off my sister. She didn't want. It might be in this drawer. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Please tell me I've got it. I don't do I. Shit. Oh well. I didn't bring it with me. Yeah. It's in this box. No. Uh, well, that's a that's a bummer. I want to test it out. Um, might be in this drawer. Up there. There is it. Just books. Your Collingwood stuff. <laughs> I don't really watch them that much. Like the amount of stuff I've got. I watch a few matches. You know, I went all last year, but 
Yeah, I well, saw the grand final. I went to the grand final. I sort of treated myself to a season ticket and ended up um, seeing the grand final. Well, I saw the. I don't know. I tried everything, you know. Don't ask me why I need two drives, but I suppose if I copy one to the other, this one probably copies DVDs as well as Blu-ray. The top one wouldn't, because it's a DVD player, not a Blu-ray. We'll see if this works. I'm pretty sure they're backwards compatible, aren't they? Hmm, not doing much. Hmm, come on. No. Could have buggered the optical. Oh, there it is. Oh, it pops up. There we are. Beautiful. What's this class not registered? It could mean the automatic play mode or something. It's not registered, so I mean that. Uh, yeah, I'll just play it in this way. Oh, yeah, it plays. Well, we'll test out a Blu-ray and um, I'll get back to you. <laughs> anyway, that was my little computer build. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And um, Well, I haven't done any benchmarks on the RAM, but um, I'm sure it runs really smoothly. I'll just copy a file. Cause I, haven't, I was having trouble with file copy and creating new folders. I'll just see if the new folders pop up quick this time. If they don't, well, it must be some other problem. I'm still having problems with it. Um, okay, I thought it might have been a RAM problem, but it's not. Anyway, yeah, the new file, when I've created a new file, it's not coming up straight away. Yeah, it take, takes like half an hour. See how long that took? Anyway, they still work, but um, it just takes a long time. I don't know why that is, but... Uh, could be, I just meant I need to re restore my whole computer and just start it over, copy all the files and just give it a refresh or something, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's just an operating system, isn't it? Maybe things get a bit tired after a while, but I'm oh, not sure why it happens. I did think about it the other day and I thought it might have been, um, I can't remember now what it was. Uh, I thought it was something. Um, what was it? Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, just some sort of file ordering or something I had didn't hadn't done or something. So anyway, back to me again. I'll see you later. Peace over and out from Evan. Signing off. Hope you enjoyed my video. Keep smiling. I just remembered I forgot to test the sound. Um, I can't really do a proper test yet because the other two fans aren't running, but apparently they're silent fans. But I'll just I'll just show you how silent it is. It's it's basically silent. It sounds a bit starting up. But listen to it running. Listen to that. A little ringing sound. It's gone. It's what I wanted. I just wanted it silent so I can enjoy my movies in peace. Listen to that. You can't hear it. Beautiful.
Anyway, there you have it. Silent. I can hear myself think again. That's why I got the case because it's silent. A bit of bit of colour and then I'll have the two colourful fans at the front and back too, so that'll be nice. A little bit of colour's nice, they don't want too much. I just like a little bit. Gee, I like that eerie little bit of light under the desk. <laughs> Uh, she thought that was funny too. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, that's Centacom. Centacom. I think I got this. Oh, I got this from PLE, so. Yeah, I got my other stuff from Centacom. But, um, yeah, I'm glad the um, Blu ray drive works. So. It's great. I like having the DVD drives. They look a bit ancient now, don't they? But. There's something about having DVDs. I'm a bit nostalgic. If if I had my way, I'd have all the old equipment and stuff at home. You know, all the old console, you know, games and you know. I mean, you know, I'd rather get outdoors and explore the great outdoors, but I can't afford to. So I just buy a few little odds and sods around the house. But um, when I'm working again soon, I'm gonna get out and do more outdoor stuff. And, get out and explore everything again this is keep me going just a bit of some fun at home just stuff to do building things and whatever whatever you do with computers and um i'm glad it's silent that's what i wanted the two the, the other two fans should be the same i think apparently they're quite good they're designed to be silent so can't hear the power supply that's good don't have to swap that out. Yeah, slight little bit of noise, but barely, barely, I can't really notice it. And, um, that little light flashing is a bit annoying, but. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, I'm going to flash at you all night watching a movie. I can put a bit of tape over it. Uh, okay, <clears throat> well, that's my movie. Keep trucking. Signing off for tonight. I'm in. Are women are rated movies? Oh yeah, I watched some. What's a good one? Um, Pulp Fiction, Natural Born Killers. Two of my favourite old ones. Yeah, they were good movies. Anyway, see ya. <laughs>